The biggest party of the summer in pro wrestling. Car Coulange for the sports set list by the fans and for the fans. I'm joined by Nick Modinaro, Mr. No Days Off, TK the Tank, Tom Kenny. Don't leave him hanging again. There we go. There go. So when we talk about the summertime, there's nothing like talking SummerSlam. There are a lot of memories, there are a lot of moments when we think about SummerSlam. That's what this segment is about. What do you guys think? Just, just, just thinking of SummerSlam, what comes to mind? To me, it's just, so I remember, it just takes back to the summer off from school. I only got to watch really pay-per-views in the summertime because me and my friend would order them. We could stay up, stay up late. So I look forward to SummerSlam every single year. I love the theme behind it. I love the, the matches. We always got big matches because it felt like a mini WrestleMania every year. And it was just one of my favorite shows of the year. I'm going to totally hop on what he said. It's almost the same for me because SummerSlam, uh, it's in August. You know, when you're a kid, you're off from school. Uh, I was not allowed to, like, watch pay-per-views on Sunday nights. My bedtime at 8 or 9 would be, mm -hmm. you know, 8 or 9 o'clock. So I couldn't yeah. watch those till 11 o'clock pay-per-views. So the summer, you got to watch the pay-per-views and just getting real hyped about it because it's the second biggest event of the year other than WrestleMania. So they have really great main events. And I remember going back just in, like, you know, the late 90s, Austin versus, you know, Undertaker at SummerSlam. You know, 98, those, Highway to Hell. Yeah, oh, man. massive, the massive memories. matches. That was I at think. MSG. I remember that one. That was a good one. Shane falling from the top of the scaffold fighting Steve Blackman. 2001. Uh, yeah. Was it? 2000, 2001. 2000. 2000. 2000. Yeah, it was 2000, right? 2000, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, just, just all these great moments. I remember as a kid just being like, why can't I watch this all year round? You know what I mean? <laughs> and now that you're older and you can, right. it's still yeah. a great moment. Still I think time. my first memory of SummerSlam had to be 1995 where my parents didn't want to pay for pay-per-views and I had the squiggly TVs, yeah. right? Where you were trying to watch something and you can't see it yep. on the squiggly one back in the day. So I was listening to it. And all I remember seeing was a silhouette of Shawn Michaels and hearing his theme music and Jim Ross and Vince McMahon talking. He was going to face a ladder match against Razor Ramon at SummerSlam 95. I just, that, that, that's what I remember because uh -huh. I was trying to watch it and I'm like, I can't, can't see anything, yeah, but I mean, you're listening to it, right? Even like I said, like the pay-per-views, my dad never bought the pay-per-views. I got to thank the Brooks family and the Harrington family for when I was a kid <laughs> letting me come over the house and watch the pay-per-views. Yeah. yeah, I think SummerSlam definitely had some moments it, 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 that, that resonate, but uh, for me, I, like I would say, I think 92, when we talked about it, mm -hmm. 92 at Wembley Stadium, right? Mm -hmm. 92 was perfect in heart. 93 was Wembley Stadium, I believe. No, no 92. No, it was 92, 92, right? 92 was Wembley Stadium. Oh, yeah, 92. Yeah, yeah. 92. That. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was Bulldog and uh, Hart. Bulldog and Hart, I think I remember. I, don't, I, I didn't see it live, but just going back in the archives and doing my research, that match was classic. I yeah. thought mm -hmm. there, there well, was nothing it, to it, touch It was the around, they had, the, you had the air horns going. There was like, again, they ring the bell and they didn't even start wrestling and everyone's on their feet and cheering, It wasn't was for the world title. It was for the kind of championship. Yeah. And that's, Brett, Brett has talked about that's his like, he considers his best match because also Davy Boy was like he was in no shape to wrestle at that event. So. Yeah, yeah, and then, then you tie in the family dynamic. He's married to his sister, yep, and yep. it becomes you know the, the, the whole family thing becomes a whole yep. big thing when it comes. Speaking to of family things, I mean, what, a couple of years later, nineteen ninety four, right? Owen and Brett wasn't that that cage match at SummerSlam? I think so. Yeah, yeah they had Owen a good cage brother match. Brother versus yeah. brother. Yeah, that was that was another great match. Um, yeah, one of the well, best cage matches ever. And a couple, you know, fast forward to. We're, we're all from New York, Long Island, 2002 at the Coliseum. Oh my God, one of the best summer the, that ever the, existed. I mean, the, 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 the That's Rock That's when the Brock greatest Lesnar. of all time made his four-year return after being on the shelf with a herniated disc. And, got and he put on the show. Match. He did not get carried. <laughs> Let's not do that. No. By one of the best Step aside ever. for one second. Give me two seconds to cook. <laughs> that is not true. Shawn Michaels put on the performance of his life in that match. When he goes like this and he... Gets off with the table off a of Triple H, and the Triple H had to be petty to hit him in the back with, with, <laughs> with, with, with the sledgehammer. But we all know Sean came back. We, we we didn't know what to expect with Sean in that match. It's true, it's we, true. We didn't know we didn't it's know true. which version of Sean we were going to get. We were going to see him do as much as they did that night. They yeah, had a great match. And even going to the close of that pay per view with Brock winning the youngest to win a world title ever, uh, beating The Rock. And I love the start of that match. Rock, his music hits. He sprints down to the ring, and then they just start hot. You know but what then I mean? the fans kind of turned on The Rock at that point. They like oh, knew yeah. he was leaving. The, mm -hmm. Didn't we also get uh, Kurt versus Ray, too? At that summer summer, I believe we so. Did, yeah. We did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's where I was kind of like, as a kid, I, was, I think I was like 15, 16. I was like, they were so close to my home. How could I have not been there? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> there was no way I could have ever dreamt to ask my parents to take me. Because they uh -huh. looked at me like, what are you talking about, right? Mm -hmm. But just thinking that they were in Long Island, and I'm like, I live like... 15, 20 minutes yep. from Nassau Coliseum well, I, I, and you I can't was, take me. I think about that. I mean, 2002, I was like four or five years old. I'm like, I wonder what I was doing that, you know, while SummerSlam was a great event that, that, would, that would take over my life one day. Yeah. was going on 
you know, yeah. 10 minutes from where or I live. Or even when they had it at MSG, and I'm just like, they're in New York. I remember that 98 one, mm -hmm. the Highway to Hell. You yeah, had yeah. Triple H versus The Rock in a, in a ladder match. Yes. Um, you had, uh, I think there was a, a dumpster match between uh, Terry Funk, and Cactus Jack, Cactus. and The Outlaws, I think. Uh, was it might have been. That was a WrestleMania match. That was a well. WrestleMania. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. but there was some f match with them in, a, in a, that. Some, and then it was Undertaker versus Stone Cold mm -hmm. for the title. I remember, I think it was Undertaker leaping over onto the table on Stone yeah, Cold. Yeah, like yeah, that that yeah. was a great SummerSlam. And no, it was. I'll never forget the entrance ramp, you know, was short, right? Yeah. So the it was a cage that opened it up with the yep. WWF logo yep, in there. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And I always loved doing those matches where they have to, they, they, they switch the hard cam. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you really get a different before, look. Before, on the, the before the renovations, they couldn't, yeah. uh, they have that little. This, this I always wondered why they did the short entrance because at WrestleMania 20, they didn't do that. They always, uh, every other pay per view they had or Raw, they had the short entrance ramp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for some reason. I think it was the, the dimensions of the garden back then. They just weren't, they just couldn't get the same because it was like the way the floors of the garden was like round. It yeah, but when they wanted to oval. though, because at WrestleMania 20, they had the regular long entrance ramp. They did, you're right. But, you know, so I, I think it's depending on what they wanted to do. I thought, mm -hmm. I guess that the shorter one worked better for them. Maybe it gets more fans in. I don't yeah, know. yeah. But I, I think there's a lot of. Um, the, the, the other thing that comes to mind when it comes to uh, SummerSlam is, I think, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs at 2000 was a good one. Yes, yes. I think that was the first one. Yeah, yeah, Tables, yeah. Ladders, and Chairs. And then also, I mean, you just said that, and it just brought me back to 2009. Tables, Ladders, and Chairs closed that match, uh, CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy. Mm -hmm. And that was really, that was one of the well, well, And, and I love the CLC ending matches. of that because yeah. that was the ending where, um, I think CM Punk was like standing over Jeff Hardy with the title, the yeah. lights go out. And all and of a sudden, they come back on, and you don't really know what's going on. And then you look down, and oh, where yeah, Hardy was laying is, is the, Undertaker. the Undertaker. And I was like, and, oh. and that's one of those summertime, I'm up past 9 p.m. with my yeah. friends. We're all going nuts. I'm like, oh, it was. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, that's what's good about SummerSlam is that, you know, they, they can have a WrestleMania type main event. And in and, and 2009, they never would have given WrestleMania main events to Jeff Hardy and CM Punk. It just wouldn't mm -hmm. happen. But you could get to have that match and have those angles. But it's not like WrestleMania where the good guys got to go home and the crowd's got to go home happy. You can continue things. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can have crazy endings. Another one, SummerSlam 2013. Brian, right here, defeats Cena, clean mm -hmm. his whistle, center of the ring. You know, they're partying for like 10 minutes, Confetti but then Orton everywhere. comes out. Orton and you know, he, he, right. he starts walking I, I was, away. Wasn't was Triple H the special guest ref? Yep. Yeah, Triple H. Yeah. Orton starts I mean, walking away like it's tease, and then Triple H gives him the pedigree. I, I, mm. I, I was there for that. Again, the confetti coming down, and yeah, after Orton won, he That left. was the beginning of the authority. In yeah, sense, yeah, right? yeah, he left the, the beginning ring. of the authority. For it was sure. just Brian in, in the ring, walked out to the ramp, nobody left their seat. Brian, mm. everyone chanting, you know, BS, bullshit. Like, yep. it was. It was so wait, Brian crazy. won the match, right? Yeah, won the he match. won the title won from the title. Cena, clean as a whistle, and then he was celebrating. Orton came out like he was going to cash in, started walking away. As soon as Orton started walking away, Triple H turns Brian around, gives him the pedigree. Yeah. Orton pins him. Yeah, wasn't there some wasn't there some slam where Kevin Nash kind of came in the ring and and, and, and fumbled where where Del Rio cashed in on Punk? Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, was that, that a that, that was in the, that that was that was like that a had to have been twenty eleven. 11, yeah. yeah 20, that was 11, that right? Time. Yeah, yeah. That, was a, that was a shitty moment. Yeah, that, that was Kevin Nash yeah, that was dying really his hair, coming back. Yeah. Moment, what the hell was going on, right? Yeah, Kevin Nash Another shitty really moment right. I remember, The Undertaker versus The Undertaker, 1994. Oh. I mean, that, was, that was terrible, man. It was, like, as an Undertaker fan, you kind of looked at it, but I'm like, what are they, like, I guess Undertaker was returning from injury because mm -hmm. we hadn't mm -hmm. seen him since Royal Rumble when Yokozuna kind of, but then he came back because Ted DiBiase had his own version of The Undertaker. Yeah. And I'm like, this sucks, right? For, for the Undertaker, for them to do, and it was the main event too. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was the main event. I know. It was the I main know. event. I was just like, the only thing cool about that was that was the biggest urn I've ever seen Paul Paul Bearer have. Yeah, he had yeah. the bigger urn, and then it kind of had a light. He opened it, mm -hmm. and then the Undertaker returns, and yeah. you're just like, oh my I god, think, he's back! I, I know you like the show on that um, the A and E Hidden Treasure show. They found that urn. Yeah, yeah. They, they went to like um like a. I don't know what they call those. The a mortuary, a morgue, mortuary, yeah, mortuary, mortuary, something like and that. They right? And they found the urn. They brought it back. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that—that that was the coolest moment. I thought the under—I thought the match could have been better. Look, I mean, staying more dumb. What, 2005, right? Ladder match for Dominic Mysterio. Oh, yeah. 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 And now that he's, you know, match. such a, he's a WWE guy, he's a character now. It's like, that's where yeah. we first met Dominic Mysterio, SummerSlam. Yeah, but I want to go back on the topic of Undertaker. For me, Sorry. this goes down to my biggest, like, SummerSlam memory. It's still one of my favorites. Edge versus Undertaker, 2008. Hell oh, himself. my God. Is that the one where he burned? Where, 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 where he threw Edge off of the, off the ladder, fell through the ring, and then all of a sudden he went like that, and the ring lit up on fire. Yeah. And it's just, those were two of my favorites growing up, and... 
I just, I, it's sort of like, a, it's like a comfort match for me. I could watch that match a million times and it never gets old. Yep. Yeah, some of the classic, like I said, from the eras we used to watch it, I remember um, 1999, uh, Wrestle, uh, SummerSlam, I think Jesse the Body Ventura was the referee. Yes, yes, yes. He triple was. Threat. Triple Threat. Austin, was Triple H and uh, Mankind. Yeah, Mankind won that match. Mankind won because Austin did. didn't want to drop the title of Triple H, so Mankind won the next but night. But Austin was the champ, right? Yeah, next night Mankind dropped the title of Triple H. Oh, so, why so, didn't Austin want to drop the title of... I, 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 there was some kind of reason, some politic and reason. Something yeah, for that I remember that one. Uh, the Rock faced Mr. Ass, and there was a match between them. I think at that point. In, in that yes. Oh, so and the uh, uh, and Rock's promo about little Billy. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Ruined Billy Gunn's career. <laughs> yeah. But it was so yeah. good. Yeah. And too, a, yeah. A big thing with SummerSlam I loved is it was a time of year where you get in special entrances. Guys would have different. Remember DX 2010? They, they came, came out, out on, the, on, the, the on the tank. On the tank. Uh-huh. And, and yeah. like the pyro going off and the military guys shooting everywhere. Like it, it, I, I just love that. That's why I love summer because I knew they're going above and beyond tonight. They're going to have special entrances, going to have, you know, play their music live. Some people like it just felt like a bigger. There's event. another moment too. I think Orton won a championship at a SummerSlam. Was it 04 where he beat Benoit? Yes. Or as he was, became the youngest yes. champion. Yeah, right? I was actually yeah, before that was Benoit. And I was actually just going to mention another one of my favorite SummerSlam moments. And it's not because it's good, it's because it's, it's fun for me to watch. Was HBK versus Hulk Hogan in 2005. Oh, my God. Because HBK, how much did HBK oversell? It was, it was watching <laughs> You that know why he so did that, funny. though, right? Because yeah, he, Hogan was you know, Hogan. Hogan. Yeah, he, yeah, he was doing it to Hogan. He was being yeah. a dick to Hogan. Yes. Yeah, man. That but was, I love yeah. it. I love okay. watching HBK just like getting kicked and flying 10 feet in the air and coming yeah, down. Yeah, that I just was think a little, it's, yeah. Hot get. <laughs> I just think it's funny, you know, knowing the backstage stuff and then watching it. Okay, well, and two, if you want to finish off, on, on one last one that happened last year, Brock Lesnar lifting up the ring with the tractor i mean we've never even seen we've never seen that before no yeah. we've never and, seen that and it's before, rare that yeah. nowadays we get things we haven't seen before and that was just nobody was really excited about the match going into because we've seen brock versus roman how many times a ton of times and yeah, then but, they but, and they but said, the year before brock returned right he returned against uh it was it was cena versus roman yes. yeah and then yeah, yeah returned. he returned at the end yes and I, cena some remember the brock lesnar versus john cena 2014 the 13 uh, suplexes, suplexes. Yeah, just yeah. absolutely Destroy. obliterated him. 14, yeah, because that was supposed to be uh, Brian. 14, yeah, yeah. Brian was going to get that Kofi Kingston type treatment where they let him have the title for a little bit, and then Brock Lesnar destroys him. <laughs> yeah. But Brian got hurt. And then Cena, uh, much to Cena's credit, they kept with the same plan, even though it was supposed to be Daniel Bryan getting destroyed, yeah, not John that's Cena. Cena and I think since it was John Cena, that only helped Brock Lesnar. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. with his push. Um, great moments. I, we'll see what it brings for this year's WrestleMania. Uh, excuse Ford. me. Summer Summer Slam. Slam. Ford Ford. In Detroit. Yeah. In I love Detroit. The, the, the new logo and everything. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm excited to see what that brings. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and support the brand. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care.